It's 8 a.m. on a Friday morning in August, and a few dozen local residents are loading onto a tour bus in Brockton. The bus is bound for the Foxwoods Casino in Connecticut. Trips like these leave the region every day of the week, taking along Massachusetts dollars and leaving them in Connecticut. The loss of gambling dollars across state lines has many calling for casinos to come to the Bay State. Alma Coleman of Brockton says she visits casinos three or four times a year. She usually takes a bus trip like this one. It's a nice trip. I love the trip. It's you know, like I said, I don't have to buy the gas. I sit back and nap and enjoy. Mm -hmm. love, like I said, love the nickel machines, the penny machine. Once in a while, the quarter machine. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice. Gene Hardy of West Bridgewater said he visits casinos a few times a month. Hardy has up to $500 to spend playing slots today. Yeah, we, we've been down in Fox with this. It's so large. We were down there uh, a few weeks ago, and they, we just found another room. It's absolutely humongous. They have a they have a thing posted up there. It's constantly moving about money they paid out. They should have one there that says, how much did you get in? <laughs> See what kind of odds you're up against. Hardy said he would probably stop going to casinos in Connecticut and Rhode Island if one is built in nearby Middleborough. Foxwoods is not just one casino, it's actually six. The complex boasts 340,000 square feet of gaming space, which until recently made it the largest casino in the world. N44, N44. It's not just retired people making the trip. 40-year-old Todd Pena of Brockton is spending his day off from a construction job, playing slots and hanging out with his girlfriend at Foxwoods. Good atmosphere, good people. No uh -huh. trouble, no problem. Uh -huh. Excellent. 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 Yeah. <laughs> They're willing yeah. to take your money. So. Yes, they are, but they do it with a smile, so that <laughs> makes it feel better. Experts believe Massachusetts residents spend more than $500 million a year at Foxwoods and more than $300 million a year at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. After seven hours of gambling, eating, and getting lost in the massive casino, the bus reloads for the ride home. Lillian and Harry Hinchcliffe of Canton said they didn't see any big wins during the day. I win, I like it if I don't. Mm -hmm. We just take it and it comes. You know? mm -hmm. It's the experience kind of thing. You can't come down here with the idea you're going to go home rich. Oh, don't say that. Just come down to enjoy yourself. Take a chance. Sam Pretentis of Brockton also said he lost some money at the slots, about $60, but he had a good time. Plenty of people, plenty of activity. It's, it's lively. It's, it's very lively. Do you, uh, do you think you'd go to Middleborough if they built a casino there? If they do, I'll be a victim.